Good morning, First Christian Church. I'm here with the chats with Mickey, and I've got our board chair. Uh, Julie is our board chair, and she has been busy as a bee. And, uh, but the, uh, let's see, I want to do a scripture passage to get us started. This is a wonderful scripture passage that you'll recognize. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Sheba for your stead, since you are precious and honored in my sight and because I love you. That's from Isaiah 43, 2 through 4. That'll keep you going for the day, if nothing else. Uh, but let's see, we want to, we got big news for the church. We do. What is our big news? Our big news is that starting Sunday, the 13th, we are going to reopen for in-person worship. Did you decide this by yourself? I did not. Um, our board met on Monday night via Zoom. We reviewed where we've been, what we did when we came back the last time, our reasons for closing this recent time, and our need to get back in the church together again. Everybody is ready to get back together. Right? They and are. The vote, what was the vote? It was, it was unanimous. Unanimous. It was. Everybody on the board is ready to be back in person. And so that was pretty exciting. And what kind of things did we discuss that we're going to have in place to protect people? We still felt that we needed to have some things in place. And we know that everybody has taken personal responsibility for equipping themselves with good decision making and um, making sure they're vaccinated and boosted and um, they're always trying to reduce their risk of exposure from other people or sources they can't control. Um, and so in that light, we decided that we still want to do many of the same processes that we had in place before. We do want to do masking, and we'll have masks available if you forgot yours or you just want a disposable one for the day. Uh, we'll have hand sanitizers available again. We'll do a little bit different with communion that instead of having the deacons pass it out from the front of the church, we'll have our deacons at the door handing it out and you'll just take it to your seat with you. And y'all did that before. We you? did. And that worked out really well. Um, the new communion cups are great, easier to manage, and um, it just lessens exposure with people having to go from row to row and passing things back and forth. What are we going to do if people want to give money? We have, um, like we did the last time, we'll have offering baskets by the two side exit doors at the bottom of the balcony stairs for people to do that. And you can continue to do your online giving or mail it to the church or drop it by or whatever. But if you bring your offering that day, we'll have a basket set aside for that. That's very good. And uh, let's see, how do you feel about that? I feel great. I know that this has been a challenging two years for everybody and we've had to think on the fly and readapt and do what's important and prudent for the health and safety of our congregation moving forward. Um, it just was the right time. As I told the group, I said, on my way to church for a meeting, I guess it was, I drove past four churches whose parking lots were full. And it saddened me that I knew I was gonna be pulling into an empty parking lot at our church. And I just really felt that it was time for us to rethink this, reevaluate and come up with a decision and everybody like you said were unanimous but they were all in agreement and shaking their heads that we are more than ready and we're ready to do whatever we need to and so people should plan to come this sunday Absolutely. and we're, we're going to have sunday school sunday school if your group wants to meet and our baptism class will be starting for our young people and um, the kids club started last week with a very small group with all of our procedures and, and things in place and that worked out well um, so yes all of the things that you come to enjoy and love about coming to first christian will be back in operation right so this is a uh, this is great news I want you to plan to be in church sunday if you're comfortable and if you're not comfortable we will continue to have it online as we have before uh, you know one of the deep, dark secrets about online church, do you know the deep, darkest secret? I don't. Some people 
in our church observe communion with real wine at home. <laughs> That's the scandal. They use real wine. Well, I can't promise that we'll ever oblige them in person, <laughs> but um, to each his own in the comfort of their home. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, we got other big news. You just had a meeting. Tell about your meeting. I did. We had uh, the initial kind of planning meeting of the senior minister search committee. And if you don't remember who those members are, that's Nancy McMurray and that's Jenny McClure. Elmer Jackson, Jan Scott, and Jacob Cooper. And so we sat and just hashed out some of the mechanics of the process and um, had a wonderful meeting with everybody. Uh, Elmer Jackson has been elected the chair of that committee. And so he'll be moving forward, setting up further group meetings and involving our regional minister, John Gillette, uh, who will help foster communications and understand the process and, and guide them through that. I think you said John. Don. Don, Don excuse me. Excuse Don's me. Right. And, uh, and so I want you to tease the members just like I do. I saw Nancy McMurray after mm -hmm. the meeting. I said, you've met for a whole hour. Do you have some new pastor? Yeah. And she said, we're closer than we've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was pretty good. But I, I expect to tease them, and I guess you can too. But we want to be patient with them that they get exactly the right person for our church, and that's that's a great thing going on. You, you've got a really busy time here. Tell me, first of all, how are you feeling about being board chair? I'm feeling better. I will admit when I was um, asked to be the vice chair last year, I wanted to use it as a learning opportunity and a way to make myself more familiar with things that I didn't know, and I'm sorry to say that there was a lot I didn't know. <laughs> learned a lot. So huh? I've had a quick learning curve. Um, it's been rewarding. I'm so impressed with the volume of people in our church who do things that you might not know of, or the things that go on behind the scenes, or those who are front and center asking for volunteers for something. I've just, um, I've appreciated this church a whole lot more with the information that I've come to know. What a great response. And I, I'm, I'm the same way. This, this church, even in my, my experience, this church is in, in some ways busier than a lot of churches right. I've been in, you know, and, and I know for my, my doing the job as interim pastor, there's an awful lot of administrative things, a lot of things that are taking place that are behind the scenes that most people don't know about. They don't realize that they take so much time. And I think communication of that is key. Um, not only me communicating with you or with Catherine or Donna about things, but then also you all reminding me that this is coming up and I need to give some thought to that. And also, um, it just does take a lot of planning. You really yes. can't think about just what you need to do today and the coming back in-person worship is a prime example of that. And um, I appreciate everybody who's taken the time to fill me in on things, to bring me up to speed, and that when I've called and asked for things, they said yes, which is wonderful. That is a wonderful thing. And, and so you're very busy. Uh, for example, today you've had the uh, search committee meeting at 10. We're doing this now right. at 11.30. Right. You've got another meeting at three o'clock, I'm meeting with the um, Brian and Patricia Calvert and the Mac, uh, Maxi Maxi Fund Review. And then um, shortly after that, I'm gonna meet with Bill Barker just about the Love Fund in general and how that, that fund operates behind the scenes. And then at five o'clock, we're gonna have an orientation for our new personnel committee. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go home after that. <laughs> but I'm ready for, ready for a day full of activities. And uh, so there's a lot of things going on. Uh, so I, anything else you think we want to say for this? No, I think uh, we're good. I think we did good. We thank you for watching Chats with Mickey. And I want to tell, tell you how much I appreciate Julie taking the job as board chair. And I told her that I thought she would really enjoy it. And I wanted it to be fun. And, and it has been. It's not it been has. stressful, has it? Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, a little honesty here. And right. Chats with Mickey, you can be honest a little bit. All right, well, I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Don't forget, come to church this Sunday, and we'll worship in person together.